Hi there and welcome to another PSD Toots Spoon Fed Photoshop tutorial. I'm Gavin Steele and I'm going to be taking you through this cool 3D web design effect by Fabio. You can check out all of the steps as usual over at the website psdtoots.com and you can download the PSD file if you've got a Plus membership. Okay, so let's load up Photoshop and get started on this tutorial. So I've created a canvas, it's 1000 by 750 and I've laid out some guidelines. Head over to Photoshop in the top left corner, check your preferences and units and rulers and make sure it's set to pixels so that you can get your settings exactly the same as mine. The first vertical one is set at 100, the second at 900, the first horizontal is at 30 and the second is at 250. And we're just laying out our website here. Okay, These are not slices, they're just guides for while we're designing. I've also unlocked my background and given it a background color and that color is 392 a 22 okay right so the first thing we need to do is create our header so in this new layer above our background layer I'm gonna select our rectangular marquee tool and using our guide at the top I'm just gonna left click and drag all the way across and I'm going to fill that layer with white. Okay. And I can go to the layer style and I can apply a color overlay. Or I can just come down here and use one of the colors I've already got, which is 4COCOF. And just click in there like so. Okay, I can deselect that now. The next thing to do is to apply our shadow, which is going to give the effect of this little strip in our header coming away from the page and making it look 3D. So let's create a new layer. We're going to drop this below our top layer. We're going to rename the top layer header, and this layer is going to be our shadow layer. Okay, so with the shadow layer selected, we're going to kind of come over to our marquee tool and we're going to select elliptical and then starting about halfway down this layer up here I'm just going to click and drag. We just want it to peek out the top and the bottom like so. And then I'm going to fill using black like so. And you can see we've got a shadow there below but actually it just looks like a black elliptic shape. So we need to head over to our filter. We need to convert to smart filter. And then we need to apply our Gaussian blur. And you want to set that to about 60% or 10 pixels. And click on OK. And already it's starting to come, you know, come alive on the page. It's starting to look like it's curling away a little bit. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to apply a cover gradient, sorry, cover gradient overlay to our header. So double click on your header file or header layer, come down to gradient overlay, I've got my gradient preset, I'll just show you what those colours are. I've got the one on the left set to 560E11 and the one on the right is set to 250608. Click on OK and then OK. And then we need to change the style from linear to radial. And we're just going to click on OK. And there's our header. OK, the next thing to do is to actually draw the line that's going to go across horizontally and separate our links from the title of our page or of the website. So we're going to add a new layer. I'm going to come over to the Line tool. And with black selected and about 200 pixels down, I'm just going to click, shift, and drag across. OK. We're going to call that layer black. Oop, I can just rename that. We're going to create a new layer, and this is going to be our red line. So, again, keeping the line tool selected, we're just going to change the color, maybe choose a lighter red. Again, I've got one set over here at 7E161B. Click on OK. Come down to 200 pixels again, holding down shift. I'm just going to drag across like so. 
what we're going to do with the red line is we're just going to nudge it below the black line. But you want to make sure it's just one pixel below. So you might want to zoom in and just have a look at how that looks. And again, you can play around just by nudging down and up. But that looks fine. So again, we're just going to zoom out and have a look at it from distance. Okay, so that looks good. We've separated our title area from where our links are going to go. The next thing to do is to add our links. But if you notice, the line starts from the left and goes all the way to the right. I want to fade out these edges. So I'm going to apply a layer mask to these two layers. I'm going to rename our top one red line. I'm going to make sure I select the two of them. And I'm going to drag them to a new folder. We're going to call that folder H lines, horizontal lines. With the folder selected, we're going to, going to go to layer, layer mask, and we're going to go to hide all. And then going to come over to my brush tool. Make sure you've got the white selected. I've got mine on a really soft brush, size 500. I'm just going to increase the size. And I'm just going to show you if I draw on there how the line appears. Okay, and you can see now that it just fades away to the left and to the right. Okay, and that's going to help with the effect of a 3D image just lifting up from our background. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to add our links to this layer. So just come over to the pen tool, to the to font tool, sorry, and we're just going to click and we're just going to write blog. About tutorials and contact. Okay, so I'm happy with the size of them. Just want to make sure they're white. Okay, I might just reduce the size down slightly. Okay, and then you can use a guide. Just bring it across, right, so you're right down the middle. Okay, that's just off actually, but you can use the guide to get a middle line at 500 and then start to move your text around them. And again, you might want to put your guides out to start with, and you might want to put each of these links on their own layer so you can move them independently. But just for this tutorial, I've just put them all on the same layer. I'm going to duplicate that link layer. Make sure you've got the bottom one selected, back over to our text tool, and we're going to change the color to black. And then using our move button, I'm just going to nudge it left once and up once. And then I'm going to select the two of those layers, and again I'm going to group them together into a folder. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call that group links. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in and show you what adding that black background layer did. You can give it, see that it gives it a slight shadow behind each of the words. Okay, and it just makes the images and the text just pop out that little bit more. Okay, so we're going to zoom out and have a look at how we're getting on. Okay, so the next thing to add is our vertical lines separating each of our links. So I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to come over to the line tool with the same red selected. I'm going to hold down shift, I'm going to come between these two, and I'm just going to draw a line straight down like so. I'm then going to create a new layer, and I'm going to draw a black line down like so. Okay, and again, I'm going to nudge it, and I'm going to nudge it so it goes to the right of our red line. Okay. I'm going to quickly select those two layers, group them into a group, and we're going to call that group horizontal lines, I'm sorry, vertical lines. Okay, I'm just going to open that up. Right, make sure you've got those two selected. Now, if you hold down Alt and Shift, we're going to create a copy of those lines. I'm just going to drag it into place like so, and again, Alt, Shift, and I'm just going to come across here, like so, and then straight up.